I'm Lori, I own Ness Designs, a small company here in Burlington. This is our new home, and I live here with my husband Paul and our two kids Paxton and Nolan and our English Golden Murdoch. When we moved into the house, it was a very traditional home with a traditional separate dining room, separate living room, and separate kitchen and family room, very small kitchen. And we've opened it up to a beautiful, contemporary, modern farmhouse, open concept. When you first walked into our home, it was a very short entranceway. People were cramped getting their coats off. We were greeting them and saying, hey, come on into the small kitchen. We decided to bump out the foyer and greet everyone with that beautiful lotus wallpaper. I was very adamant about having a bold, bold entry and greeting everyone with a wow factor. I tried to tone it down with the modern farmhouse console table with the wood elements. And then I really wanted to have sort of an architectural element. So we went with this beautiful, gorgeous arch. When we decided to take down this wall, this was our structural wall. And we had some design concepts made I always knew that I wanted natural beams incorporated into design and we decided to go with this one. And then I worked with Benjamin Moore to come up with a custom stain. This raw pine was like a sponge and so it absorbed every color. And so things were turning out black and blue and brown. And so it took us a long time to come up with the combination to get just the right subtle gray. Before, when it was traditional and it was its own entity, my husband always joked by saying, we never sit in this furniture, we never sit in this room. Now that we have the gorgeous fireplace, I have to say, as soon as we're done, drinks before dinner, after dinner, we all congregate in this room. The bar, I have to say, is one of my favorite elements in the design. I love incorporating the old with the new. And it was very important for me to have a vintage piece somewhere in this design. Jason, who owns a store called Centro in Burlington, it's one of my favorite stores. That day that I was looking for specific dimensions for this little nook, Jason had posted that this was half price, this vintage cabinet. And it just fit perfectly into this nook. We did custom shelving in there for wine and alcohol, and it's a fun element of the design, I love it. The dining room before, actually I had just changed it a year ago. We got rid of the popcorn ceiling. This is a very old home and we shiplapped the ceiling. I did navy walls and navy ceiling with gold elements and it was gorgeous. And then we changed everything this year. <laughs> so we tore down the walls and we opened it all up and this was very important. I actually got this from Exotic Woods, this Live Edge Elm, and I sanded it and stained it myself and then just bought the raw steel legs and spray painted those to match the pennant. And this is where everyone eats in our home. This table can actually fit. I think we've maxed out at 16. The console I had built in, we needed room for people to tuck in and out of their chairs and get up and move freely around. So this is a built-in custom buffet from Touchwood Cabinets that did our kitchen. The kitchen before was very, very small. It had a tight peninsula and it had a little seating area and a bay window here. I like to be involved when I'm serving drinks and we're entertaining and it's cocktail hour. I like to be involved. I'm a very social person, so I can't be hidden in the kitchen. So we decided to open it up and have a really, really large island so I can cook and prep and serve cocktails. It was very important to me to have navy lowers. I've always loved a dark element on the bottom. And then on top, I chose this light gray. It's Nimbus gray. And the brush brass harbor was very important for me. I love that element mixed with navy. The subway tile, I really wanted to keep it clean, traditional, and I really wanted the dark grout to stand out and to show texture in the kitchen. The pendants over the island were the biggest feature. I feel like they're the showstopper. And when I originally ordered the pendants, the outside was navy and the inside was gold. And when they arrived and the electricians opened it, it was Ronald McDonald gold. So got my husband to take them down, took them to the garage, and I spray painted them black. And I just feel like the black grounds all the other elements in the kitchen. I chose open shelving. I love the look, I love the feel, and I feel like you have to have them properly styled to have them in your home. We got so much storage with our lowers. We have huge, massive drawers. They're deep, they can take dishes, the kids can empty the dishwasher. I just anchored the design with two uppers on this end and two uppers over the fridge, and we have a ton of storage. The more casual room in our home where you can find us most days and nights, especially the children, is our sunken family room. I reclad the beams in there a couple of years ago. We shiplapped over the popcorn ceiling and it is painted alabaster white Sherman Williams. I decided to carry the alabaster white all the way down the brick so that your eye just flows in one motion. And then we changed the mantle color. I sanded that mantle as well and got it from a piece of wood at our cottage. 
Our dog is always in there with us, but that's a wood-burning fireplace. So yeah, that's just our family hub. The powder room is one of my favorite elements, again, in this design. I have always loved herringbone. I chose to use the same subway tiles we used in the kitchen. I decided to go dramatic with a dark black grout. When you walk in, you're faced with the gold elements on the cabinetry, the gold light and the mirror, and then we have this fabulous herringbone with black grout facing you. It's sort of like a cave with a white backdrop. My Christmas decorating tends to change each year. For this year, I decided to go with natural palettes with blush and cream and black and green. I am a huge fan of bringing the natural elements indoors and I always use fresh greenery. I like to incorporate it on the mantle. Tablescaping is big for me. We have some natural elements everywhere. This year I chose the King Protea and the smaller Protea version. I love the color blush it added to our palette. I love the cream and I just think they're just such stunning flowers. Living through the reno, I have to say, people kept asking, why aren't you in a hotel? How are you living through this? We cooked in the basement, we lived in the basement, we lived up on the upper floor. I chose friends to work with. I know all the trades, I've worked with them on projects. For us, it wasn't really putting us out and it wasn't a drag. And because I'm the designer, it was so fun for me to watch something that I created come to life and to full fruition.